guys and welcome back to another episode of The New Journey. We're getting through these. I'm enjoying these. These are uh, these are great. After Monaco last week, I'm feeling in high spirits. Today, as you might be able to see, we have Canada. Um, the setters for this race were a lot different to what they were in Monaco. We've got no qualifying. We've got the safety car on and we have a 50% race. So it's more race of endurance. How long can you last? How consistent can you be um, with the safety car there just to bunch up the field? whenever needed so i'm hoping for a good result in canada um it wasn't great for us last year we uh we did have a 50 percent race again lasted about 25 percent of it and then crashed because we were very eager on the throttle so um but this season hoping for something better and uh, i think we're going to do that but before we go to the race let's go to new journey graduates and this week we have the full tale of not only stupidity but also new journey suicide when this picture was discovered in the New Journey chat by, um, well, let, let's not name names, but it was a Welshman. And the follow-up to this was something spectacular. I might leave the link to some of the tweets in the description below if I can be bothered to find the thousands of them. But the tweet that really summed up the day was from the man himself, the man in question, Chukmaster22. Who replies with this absolute bomb, which I'm going to leave on the screen for another two seconds for you to read. Because it is absolutely, ah, oh, I love it. So, as you can imagine, he is a graduate because he is never coming back, the cheeky fuck. So, let's go to the race. So, we are into the race. We are just finishing the formation lap now, as the uh, I believe my car is about to take control. It is. We are... Just behind Sesemba, um, reverse grid, if I completely forgot to mention that, but it's random reverse grid, well, not random reverse grid, it's just reverse grid, but um, we got a teammate next to us, is it McNewtard in the Ferrari, and then we've got average Ken, Mr. Sesemba, just in front of us, so um, just waiting for people to complete the formation lap. The formation lap shouldn't be the most difficult thing, and yet, for some people, it is. So, I guess it's just going to be a case of just seeing how... How this goes, really, because I want to have a good race. Really want to have a good race. Um, just to boost those points. We've only got 16 points at the moment. Would love to add another 10 or more to that. That'd be absolutely great. So, we are loading in to the race right about now. As we finally get going as Reese is taking forever. Come on, Reese. Here we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five red lights. We build up those revs. And we're off for one of the longest holds of the season. Get in there nicely. We've got a good start. Not too much ever serious. Idiot McNewtown fucks it completely. And absolutely smashes into December. Ken is now. Rickson is. As Rickson is going across the fucking track. What's he doing? Oh, fucking hell. Rickson's ghost retired car has just decided to completely take me out. What the fuck was going on? But December's still there. I think he's just trying to turn it around. I think he's having an absolute fucking moment. So I can't really see him moving. He's moving now. But, oh, wow. That was, that was something else. Oh my god, everyone's going slowly. I'm going to fucking... No, everyone's going so slowly, I'm just going past them. I don't care. Because you can't be going that slowly. And, you know... Oh wow, that was a ghost cut. Mortal chemical fucking hell. Oh, it's absolute, absolute carnage. So we are going to get a five second time penalty. We don't actually have to go through all of them. Because we're going so goddamn slowly. As we got Idiot McNeve tied ahead. Gods Among Us as well, who's back from his race ban. A week early, we did a land back. Um... Because, you know, only a social race. Idiot McNuto, we managed to outdrag somehow through there as we break. Um, not too badly, but we break a little bit late. We need to break early for that corner. One thing to make sure we keep an eye on is to break early for that corner. As we've got Morgs behind us now. There is an... Oh, fucking hell. Ben's going round. There is, there's someone stopped at the place we cut. I think Morgs is going to go up the inside. Don't really want to cut him. Rudsters, our teammate, is having a mare. We've touched the wall. A little bit lucky. Judging by a previous race, we had not to lose a wheel. As there's race strategy. No, don't really care about that. Um, as we sort of let Morgs pass, he's faster. Don't really want to be caught up in a race. It's all about making sure we finish. All about making sure we finish this race. Because chances are, we're going to finish nicely. As we break beautifully through there. Maybe a little bit early. But um, it's all about... Ah, oh, the safety car is out. Safety car is out. The end of lap one. I don't know who retired. I can't remember seeing who it was. Uh, there's someone just there at the tight chicane. Just around there. So, moving on to lap four. Safety car is coming in, so we are now maintaining speed. But I believe all of us are going to be coming into the pits because it's intermediate conditions. Only just became intermediate conditions. The engineer came around on the lap going, yeah, it's intermediates. Um, a couple of people came in early. 
which was very, very good from them because it's absolutely perfect. They will take the lead of this race. I think there's four just back there that are uh, on intermediate tyres. So, yeah, there we go. There's the changeover. And here we go. We are now going to come into the pits. Um, make sure we don't actually crash into anyone. And I think I nearly crashed into Morgs here. Yeah, so quite thankful that I didn't. The Rust has actually tried to overtake me in there because he knows what's about to come. And it's actually going to get held up. <laughs> We've got a five second stop going penalty. This is savage behaviour. It is unbelievable. Oh, wow. Um, we're, no, we're on the intermediate tyres. Not going to lie. We've got a lot more. We've got infinitely more points than Rudsters because he hasn't actually scored any. Probably not helped by the fact that I keep holding him up, but also not helped by the fact that he doesn't finish races. A little bit like me. So, Mercedes aren't having a good season, but we are out. We're out in ninth place. Um, I don't know if someone. I don't know if anyone didn't pit, but from what I can see, everyone is going to be on the intermediate tyres because that is the tyre to be on. It's going to be so much faster, so much more grippy, and uh, I can already feel just how much better it is as we move on to the lap six. Understeer is slightly Callum. Has retired from this race. One of the championship favourites is out of this race. He was hopeful for a podium and it hasn't quite come. Ah, oh, so unlucky for Callum. He's obviously just oversteered it off that corner and it's not gone well. And on to the end of lap six. We are. There's someone in the pits. There's a fucking clusterfuck there. There's someone stopped there. I think that's Nimal, mate. Yeah, that's Nimal that stopped there. And um, actually, Impala was on the wet tyres. So that might be why. There's Reese there. Charlie is ahead of us. Um, don't know how Reese is buying. It's not going well for the Salva boys, is it? as we break nice and early for that corner but Charlie's be our next contender I don't think we're going to let don't think we're going to pull up too much of a fight for Reese as we absolutely oversteer the fuck out of this and we let Reese go past just because don't really want to have a don't really want to be battling him because he is faster I would I would prefer much prefer to let him go ahead and uh, me follow him um, and just see him have a good race rather than you know risk risk us crashing out it would uh, it would be not great from us. Uh, but Charlie's up ahead. He's a little bit all over the place. There we go. He is very much all over the place as he's just trying to gain his composure. But a little bit of slipstream just to help us get past. And uh, we are up into sixth place. Nice. Nice position for us. I'm liking sixth place at the moment. It's good. It's good times for us. Loving it. So, moving on to the end of lap eight. Yellow flags around. Following Reese still. There's a corner cut. And the safety car is out. Safety car is out again. We are going to get a delta, but only until we cross the line, I believe. Reese has lagged. There we go. There's a delta gone, which is going to help us slightly. Um, Reese comes into the pits for... I don't know what he's into the pits for. It can't be dry tyres. It could, physically can't be dry tyres, surely. It's far too wet for dry tyres, but... There's still a lot of spray being kicked up, so I don't know. I don't know what Reese is in for. But we have gone past that for us. Um, as we are going to catch the safety car in not too long now. But the safety car still got a little way to go. Um, as we're on lap 10. Yeah, no, the engineer isn't really sure what tyre we should be on. As, um, yeah, on lap 11. Safety car is still out. We've been able to pass the safety car, I believe. Um, I don't don't really know what's going on at the moment. Because it's, uh, it's ridiculous. So we are now going to be on the soft tyre, I believe. Yeah, soft tyre to go to the end. That was the ideal strategy, was to go on to that. Um, we're going to come out, I believe, in third place. Yeah, because there's a couple of cars there that have been overlapped. So we're going to come out in third place. How? I don't know. But we are we are in third place, legitimate third place in this race. On the same tyre as the people around us. So this is working perfectly in our favour here. I don't know how we're managing this, but we are doing it. We are in third place behind Pepsi Max, and I believe... Corrigan, Corrigan. Oh yeah, he pitted for the intermediate tyres when it was the perfect time. Um, but one thing to note is that Pepsi and Corrigan got drive-through penalties when they came into the pit. So the safety car is about to come in. We are going to go in a second, and we are going to go racing and take the lead of this race. Um, so we are. Oh fuck! This isn't even the screen on your computer or tablet or whatever freezing. This is actually a huge lag spike. This is a lag spike for this period of time. Like, seriously, this is unbelievable. As we lag spike again. And look how far ahead everyone else is. Look at that. That is unbelievable how far ahead everyone else is. It's ridiculous. As we're gonna, we are going to come out, I believe, ahead of Corrigan? I don't actually know. We're going to come out side by side, I believe. As we are going to squeeze... Oh, no, he's there. He's there. Didn't even notice. That actually put us off. Fucking hell, that actually put us off. But that lag spike has absolutely screwed us. Because we could be... So much more ahead. The Rudsters is in the wall. I don't know if he's retired, but he's in the wall. God's just having a fucking moment. 
But his crack is also off. He was ahead of us. Um, obviously caught up to that safety car train. Uh, we're going to go round the outside though, which is not a bad move from us actually. That's not a bad move actually. Not talk about strategy. That literally came up every time. Pissed me off every time. Um, and on lap 18, 18 to 35. So we're about halfway through now. And Charlie is in the wall. He's not retired, but we are going to take fifth place and uh, move up another position as uh, Charlie being a little bit unfortunate but yeah as Busty Scrack is actually overtakes he's been solid with the pace Corrigan's out of this race Corrigan is in the wall and out of this race didn't notice it but Corrigan is out of this race oh wow so we've got some big hitters going in this race Corrigan Callum who else is going to go Pepsi is now on the ultra soft tyres and we know what's going to happen next he's just going to come up our inside and he's going to take that position nothing we can do about that he's on much faster tyres and he's also massively the championship leader massively and on that 26 Reese is behind us as we whoa we have an absolute moment with the rear end we're going to squeeze him but not too much oh but we've made, we've made contact we made contact with the wall with Reese. oh no this is awful hold on let's have a look at a replay and we've just touched there isn't any there isn't any movement on my screen i don't know what's happening but there it is being investigated and um yeah i don't really know what was going on there but we do let Reese pass um, that was a that was a weird moment. Um, yeah, that was weird. We did look at a couple of POVs just after the race, and uh, yeah, it didn't look didn't look um, didn't look great. But as you see, is that Callum out of this race? It is Callum out of this race. No, Reese out of this race. Sorry, Reese has gone from this race. Oh wow, Jamie's been disqualified. Jamie has been disqualified. What the fuck is going on in this race? Oh wow, and. Uh, Oh, I receive a quality bound for the next race. Okay, no, that's fair. I was squeezing Reese. Um, having looked on other POVs, it um, looked horrific. It actually looked like I turned into him, but as you can see there, no really turning in, but that's that's weird. And uh, yeah, so we're going to come through. Only eight finishes. We're going to come through to finish in fourth place. Fucking hell, what is going on? <laughs> Yeah, fourth place. But um, one thing to note before we carry on, Jamie got disqualified for using um, not the right tyre compounds, despite actually being on all of them and it being wet. So actually, Jamie wins this race, Pepsi in second, it's December 3rd, Morgs fourth. If I could stop scrolling down, it would be fucking great. But we actually finished in sixth place. Um, I believe December finished above us. Are we going to go up? Yeah, we are going to go up. So we got, yeah, December in third, Morgs in fourth, us in fifth, Charlie sixth. Bachelor 7th, Reese 8th, Idiot McNeubtard 9th, Alex Degu in 10th, who was actually going to pick up a point. So, uh, when on Alex Degu, I got the biggest fucking cold ever. When on Alex Degu, absolutely incredible race. Everything was going on in that race. Um, yeah, but not much went on. There was a long period of time which I actually cut out of that because there was nothing, nothing happening. I was just driving around, staying consistent. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, smash that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will create a playlist for the new journey. Put the description below. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.